Hi, I'm Nick Bellissimo, and I'm an Associate Professor of Nutritional Physiology and Director of the Nutrition Discovery Labs at Ryerson University. I'm Christy Brissett, and I'm a registered dietitian with a Master's in Nutritional Sciences. I counsel clients, and I write for some of the top magazines and newspapers in North America. Do you have questions about sugars and sweeteners? You're not alone. It can be really confusing out there with all of the conflicting media coverage as well as latest research constantly changing our minds about sugars. So what we did is we took to Google and took a look at your most burning questions about sugars. And we're going to do our best to answer them for you today. Next question, is sugar addictive? Interestingly, when we look at research on this topic, and while we know pleasurable foods may activate reward pathways in the brain, it doesn't mean they're addictive. We know things like money, intimacy, and even consuming water will activate those same brain regions. Now, the majority of the research is actually based on animal work, and it doesn't actually translate all that well to humans. And it most certainly doesn't explain the increase in the prevalence of obesity over the past 30 years. And while we know certain drugs produce effects like tolerance and withdrawal, the best available evidence suggests that sugars do not. We hope we answered some of your top questions about sugars and made you think twice about some of the answers. And thanks again for joining us.